Story on a wet and windy Saturday night, graphically illustrating the all-round talents of this classy footballer. Already All Ireland, Munster Championship, and National League honours have been won in three glorious seasons since Paddy made his senior intercounty debut in 2008. At 25, Paddy's peak years are still in front of him. For now, the April monthly award ramps up a magnificent 2010. Proudly representing the Ballancolly Club, congratulations to Paddy Kelly. Our main winner, Owen Cadigan, just about managed time to pick up his award. Such was the intense nature of his hauling and football summer. The fifth monthly accolade of the year headed in his direction, principally because of an outstanding fullback performance in Cork's win against Tipperary in the opening round of the Monster Cena Hulling Championship. It was a day and an occasion that was sweetly savoured by those in red, and right from the first whistle, Owen Cadigan's hulling class and quality shone through. But the football selectors were also calling, and Owen was to feature in Cox's showdown against Kerry at Porky Creeve. It was a taste of what was to follow, as the popular Douglas clubman juggled both codes with the ageing of the championship summer. Mentioned Douglas, it was Derby Day early on in the Hulling Championship season, with Owen also playing a vital role in his club's senior Hulling success against near neighbours Blackrock, which set off an exciting campaign. Now looking forward to another hectic year of hauling and football activity on the double, this evening is an occasion to look back with great satisfaction for our May winner, the modern day jewel star Owen Cadigan. If Owen Cadigan was busy in May, young Lockhorn McLaughlin was even busier during a non-stop month of June. His involvement with five teams saw him take the field in no less than six key championship matches as he became the latest player to mix hulling and football commitments. Life had seldom ever been busier for Lockhorn, who has become a key man for so many teams. His strike rate of five wins from those six matches back in June ensured that the midsummer diary remained jam-packed with big games. Lockhorn lined out for both the Cox Senior and Under-21 Hullers, CIT in the County Senior Championship, can talk in the Divisional Junior Football Championship and topped it all off with eye-catching performances as can talk were doubly engaged in the County Intermediate Hulling Championship. Having played with Cork in the National Hulling League, getting the call for the Cork Championship 15 ahead of the Senior Hulling Championship match against Limerick in the Munster semi-final was a significant milestone in a rapidly developing career. The young Corkman had shown his promise as part of Duhallow's Under-21 winning team last season and took his chance with flying colours when the call-up came to County Senior level. Yet another one of our monthly winners whose name can be filed in the Bright Future category. Our June winner, Lockhorn McLaughlin.
The Cork minor team of 2010 will surely have the word heroic scripted alongside their team pick in years to come. Our July winner, Brian Holly, deserves extra special recognition on the back of a most dramatic and amazing championship summer. The young Castlehaven man was the talk of the county after he struck with a last-minute match-winning goal against Kerry in the Munster Championship decider at Fitzgerald Stadium. The phrase, leaving it late, was extended to its very limits by this cock minor football team as they showed nerves of steel on more than one occasion to help rescue victory from the jaws of defeat. In terms of an individual 60-minute performance, Brian will find it hard to top his 1-6 contribution of Cox's 1-8 tally in that midsummer monster final. However, by any standards, July was a very special month for Brian as he also got some vital scores as Cork defeated Fancy Armagh in the All Ireland quarter final, whilst also playing a key role as Castlehaven captured the county under 21 football title. Busy days all round for a footballer whose ability and work rate came shining through when the cause was greatest. Have we mentioned stars of the future already? No doubt, here is another with a rich potential to advance right to the top. Our top man for July, Brian Holly. Award number eight goes to a man who's very familiar with the number six. Peter Kelly from Aaron's Own has proved to be one of the best centre-backs in the county over the past number of years and once again he came to the fore as his club accelerated their challenge in the county senior hulling championship. The month of August saw the Cahalag outfit progress to the penultimate round with Peter's experienced guidance helping his side over some tricky ground en route. A win over Ballinhasig was followed by the defeat of defending champions Newtown Chandrum, a game in which Peter Kelly delivered a masterclass hour in the centre-back role. Time after time, he snuffed out impending danger with his timely interventions and astute reading of situations, whilst the customary excellent clearance followed on a regular basis. Although Aaron's own came up short in the aforementioned semi-final, the Cahalag side had indicated before that game that they still have the potential to have a say in the championship season that lies ahead. Peter Kelly has been a star of his club's recent wins and last summer's displays suggest that the crafty centre-back has lost none of his star qualities. A winner in August from Aaron's own, Peter Kelly. September and at last Sam returns to Cork. Twenty long years of waiting seemed to be worth every second. Such was the overpowering feeling of joy and emotion at the final whistle on Sunday the 19th of September. Masterminding the mission, team coach Conor Cunahan, who guided the Rebels through difficult terrain to eventually reach the promised land. As the county held its breath for the final few seconds of injury time, the cameras swung to Conor, preparing to salute the man who had made the dream come true. As a player, Connor scaled the heights in 89 and 90, but now, 20 years on, he had brought his on-the-field qualities of strength and mind of body to the fore of his players. Connor's passion for cock football, his will to win and his pursuit of excellence moulded this cock team into the best in the land. Monster and league titles have been amassed over the previous two seasons, but 2010 was a crowning glory and a remarkable tenure at the helm of Connor Cunahan. Now the focus is already on the future, but before the hard work begins for 2011, let's toast the Ahead of Man's Magic, our winner in the All Ireland winning month of September, Conor Cunahan. A great day to be a rebel!
October and enter a famous hurling name from a famous hurling club on a famous football day for all involved. Diarmuid O'Sullivan has seen it all and done it all, but on a day late in October, it proved a very extra special memory for the rock from Cloyne. For some time, some may say, Cloyne may be swimming against the tide when it came to playing football, but now those who call it the home of hurling must also call it the home of the county junior football champions. Diarmuid epitomised everything that is good about Cloyne football as he inspired his colleagues to a heroic comeback against White's Cross and the county decider. It was the top county meeting of the sides in recent times, as Cloyne had put together an unprecedented three-in-a-row triumph within the East Cork division. Experience was to prove a key element in the narrow final victory, with Diarmuid and Co. holding their nerve late on to fashion a famous win for their club and set off tremendous scenes of delight as County Board Chairman Jerry